let's quickly bake our vertex colour maps. Alright guys, how's it going? Now there was a user today on Facebook and he was essentially asking how do I export out the vertex colour map or how do I bake this as a texture? Now this is pretty easy to do to be honest but there's a few things that you probably should be aware. Now I'm using today's daily build which is 2.93 alpha. Check out the new viewport feature, ooh buttons. And it feels a little bit smoother as well. But anyway, I completely digress, let's go on with the tutorial. Now if you've never used vertex painting, what I can do here is I can go to the object, change it to the vertex painting and I can pretty much paint on the vertices and it's very similar to texture painting. The more dense the mesh, the more resolution you essentially have. So I'm going to jump into solid mode and I'm going to do a quick Jackson Pollock. This will be horrible. Do apologise. Now while I'm here, I'm actually going to show you a very nice feature. If you jump into the paint tab, you can see here dirty vertex colours. Hey, that's my kind of word. And what it'll do is I'll actually start to work out the crevices and the folds, stuff like this. You can see it's a little bit darker in the ears here. This is ideal if you want to do something like a subsurface skeleton map or maybe even just a cavity map. So I have this horrible vertex painted map. I do apologise, let's give it some lipstick. And what I can do here is I can go to the object data properties, I can drop down the vertex colours and you can see here I have the vertex colour map. Now, if I quickly jump back into object mode, you'll notice that you cannot see the vertex colour map even when I'm in the render viewport. So what I can actually do here is I can quickly jump into the shading tab, let me just join these areas together and we'll add in a new material. The next thing what I'll do is I'll search for the vertex colour. I'll select the colour map and I'll put the colour into the base colour. Now there's a few things that you actually need to be aware of. When you're doing stuff like the vertex colour painting, it might be gamma corrected. When you're exporting or baking, you need to make sure you're in the correct colour space, otherwise you might get a slight variation. But I'm not too worried about that for the moment, I'm just going to show you how to quickly bake it out. So, in order to bake, what we need to do is we need to change the render engine from Eevee to Cycles. It's one of the drawbacks, unfortunately. And I'm actually going to change this to GPU Compute. I'm then going to come down to the baking options and then I'm going to change the bake type to diffuse which is essentially the colour map. I'm going to take things like the contributions of the direct and indirect lighting and what I'm going to do here is just to make sure I'm going to delete the light, let's select Suzanne again. And one of the new features with Blender 2.92 I believe was implemented, you can actually now bake to the vertex colours but we'll leave it on image texture and I'll make the margin zero. Now there's one thing that you need to be aware of, well there's actually several. You really need a UV map in order to bake, pretty much like baking anything else. So what I need to do here is, I need to drop down an image texture or a blank image. So I'll press Shift and A, S to search, and I'll drop down an image texture. I'll hit new, I'll call this my bake. And I'm not too worried about the resolution to be honest, I'll keep it on 1024 and I'll hit OK. And then what I'll do is I'll hit bake, and hopefully this will bake the vertex colours into this map. You'll see that it's texture baking here, and you can now see here's our texture map. Now what I can do is I can quickly jump into texture paint, let's take off this wireframe, and there is our vertex colour map. Now this is ideal, maybe you've just imported a model and it has the vertex colours applied, so this is a quick way to get to it. And all you need to do now is go to image and then save as. And that's pretty much how you bake a vertex colour map, very easy to do to be honest. Do me a favour guys, like your video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.